Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Look how calm the lake looks. It's weird, without the camera, you can't really see that haze, so it looks like, like, just like soul, like, the water just goes into the sky because there's like fogginess out there that's getting rid of the horizon line and not in the camera. Anyway, out for a run this morning. Thank you, sir, for getting me out on my feet today. My message to all of you, go spend some time on the feet, even if it's just a stroll around the block. Look at how nice the lake looks. I could just jump right in. Good morning. We did just go to bed last night. We did watch um, the new Elvis movie, which we really, really enjoyed. I wanted, I wanted it to be longer. There's just like so much in somebody's life story that like you have to leave stuff out. I wanted, I wanted more. I didn't realize how stylistic it would be. Um, and Elvis was actually my grandma's favorite celebrity. Um, she had a ton of memorabilia. She had one of the clocks with like the legs swinging um, so that the music is close to my heart. So it, it, we really enjoyed it, but we did just like, we went to bed, I think it was before 11. Um, it's our second day of trying to be disciplined with our morning. And I honestly, with me doing Peloton every other day, that every other day I want to do yoga, but I'm not as like, gotta get out of bed because I, I don't know, I just didn't feel that same gusto, like, you know, the, the Peloton, like, there's like a certain amount of time in the shower, like, it, it's a whole process, and so I didn't feel that same gusto, and so I need to find that gusto. Um, Jamesy woke up a little earlier than usual with him going to bed earlier than usual, but honestly, he only woke up like 30 minutes earlier than usual. He's, he's usually awake between 7 and 8 and he was up at 6.30. We thought he might be getting up in the middle of the night ready to go. This has turned into a Sarah ramble that I did not expect. But anyways, Peter is out on his run now. So that's great. That's We're, that's, we're sticking to it just a little bit later, later than we want to. Um, but I made the bed, I got my water, and even while James is awake because Teddy's is still asleep. I am gonna try to do a bit of stretching and I'll, oh, I want to get my yoga in at some point today. Put the hat on. I do, I do. Yeah, he went bye bye. I do. You can hear someone outside. Peter went on a run, so we said bye bye. And then we went to the window, said bye bye. And then he got in the car. Those are donations for all of our clothes that we're donating. But he got in his little car over there. He wanted to go outside to follow Peter. Hello. Hi. Good morning. I know that last clip was super low quality, but I just think I just like, had a capture when he's like upset that he like woke up. And then when I come in and he smiles, that's like one of the things I look forward to most when finally having kids. And Teddy's smiles do not disappoint. Right? You got a great smile. You got your shaker. Jamesy is enthralled by 101 Dalmatians. Oh no, you dropped your shaker. There you go. Open that hand. Good job. Oh, almost. There you go. Good job. Uh oh, we dropped it again. There you go. Will I capture a true Teddy rollover today? 
Hello, everybody. It's been a little bit since this morning. Um, James just woke up from a nap. I am in between meetings, but I wanted to say whoop whoop to uh, the Biden Harris administration for announcing their student debt program. Um, I'm glad just something happened. I'm trying to be. I know uh, for a lot of uh, for a lot of Americans, and not enough was done, and for a lot of Americans, not enough or too much was done. Um, I think from the preliminarily looking at what has been announced, it will help Sarah and myself um, pretty significantly, pretty significantly for what kind of uh, school loans I got. I, t I went to a private college my first year of college, which ultimately was a kind of a mistake, and then took five more years to get my undergrad. So I took six years to get my undergrad. So we do have some loans, uh, significant loans there. Uh, we don't have any under Sarah's name. It was a very wonderful, gracious way that Sarah's parents were able to make that happen for her and her sisters. Um, so over the coming weeks, we'll see how this affects those loans, because I think we qualify for like a bigger trunch of that forgiveness. Um, so yeah, very significant. I think that would be great for all of the country, not just the ones that are directly affected, but there's so much benefit to the ones that aren't directly affected by it. And there's things in that proposal that will affect you if you go to college one day on how you can repay that about things going forward. Or you can just live in, in my house forever. Forever. He just ate an Oreo. His name is James as he's here to say, Dad's done working and we're gonna make some potatoes in a fun way. You gonna help me? Ooh, you don't like the straps on your shoulders? Whoa! All right, work day is over, as James just said. Um, kind of a busy day, kind of a busy week. I think tomorrow should be a little less busy at work. Um, Sarah's trying to keep Teddy down. Had a big town hall CEO gave like a monthly town or quarterly town hall, so that was interesting to hear about the vision of the company. I'm gonna start chopping up some potatoes with James, season them up and get them in the air fryer. Um, Sarah came with this idea to do like an after work tidy. So like we, we did that after I was on work, we walked every room and got anything that was not supposed to be in that room, put it away. Like so the living room still looks a little bit of a mess because James's toys are out. Cause why are we gonna put those away if he's still playing with them? But like a bag for the kitchen was in the living room and stuff for our bedroom was in the living room, so like we put all that away, so good like midday refresh kind of thing. So James is watching Colleen vlogs, eating some snacks, and I'm going to chop up some potatoes. Potatoes! And we're going to put this carne asada sauce on them. And here to them up. There we have it. Probably put a little bit more after a couple, you know, maybe like seven to 10 minutes in the air fry. I'll come mix it up, put a little bit more seasoning. Looking good. Always Max Crisp. All right, here we go. We've got the soup, the dumpling soup from the other night. The shawarma, but over those potatoes that James and I made. James is pretty pumped. He got his own potatoes with just ketchup, not the shawarma but I'm gonna chop up some pineapple for him as well, and it's gonna be a delicious dinner. Do you like the shawarma, James? A little after dinner. Fantastic, never hurt anybody. I love you. Just a quick hug. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Bye bye. <laughs> 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 
that he's got on Jamesy's hand-me-down Mickey rattle socks. <laughs> Hi, baby. Do you like them? Yeah. Wow. All right, this might be the first clips that we've had today. All I know is that we didn't sign off last night. And all I know is we've kind of just been having a trying week. I mean, as a reminder, you guys know this is 10, 15 minutes of our day. We choose what we share, we choose what we don't share. Um, but just overall, like, just what I'll say is that it's it's been a trying week. Today we were supposed to go to the Cubs game. I'm in my Cubs shirt now. Um, that did not work out. And I don't know, it's just been a week. Look at this kid kicking me. <laughs> Plenty of smiles still, but just, just, just a trying week. Um, so I'm gonna make easy noodles with that jar Aldi sauce for dinner tonight and a salad. We're just counting down the minutes we got Bluey on. We're counting down the minutes until dad's done with work. Where are you? Oh, Jamesy. Peekaboo. <laughs> what? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Jamesy? Where are you? <laughs> Peekaboo! Again. Again. Our super easy dinner. Got Romano cheese on top of the noodles and sauce. And then the salad is the Trader Joe's Greek chickpeas with romaine hearts, cherry tomatoes. And the chickpeas are in like a little dressing already. I just zhuzhed it up a little bit with vinegar, kind of like Caesar salad style, but just add some cheese to it and I think that's it. We made it out of the house this evening yeah. and we're gonna go see the chickens. This is the first time I'm on the boat. Yeah, it is a two-parter, so if you were in it yesterday, then you were. It wasn't yesterday. <laughs> what is time? Exactly. It's been a week. I like, I wonder if I could like black out what my meetings are and my calendar for work and show you because I haven't even showed you like what my week was but I felt crossed, it my boss and my peer manager are off tomorrow so that either means it's going to be a really easy day because I'm going to have two meetings right now or it's going to be a fire every trick because I'm going to because everyone else is gone yeah so, but also when you're not having meetings you have to do actual work <laughs> I mean I have a ton of work to catch up on for my busy week but yeah. like, that's nice to like sit on the couch with you guys and work yeah. away all day than in meetings, presentations, yes. other likes. Oh, I've never seen this sign before. <gasps> Say hi, chicken! Teddy is also a Mr. Fan fan. He's so happy. He's kicking so hard. We're in the Inkling shop on Broadway. Carnes. Vibes. Yeah. No spend August actually count if you just have a running list of all the things you're gonna just spend your money on on August or September first. I don't think we have much. <laughs> <laughs> we have one event that we've been putting off until September. It's just straight. Yeah, and then that shop just now had like a kitchen towel. Yeah. So nice. So beautiful with like Chicago artsy things about like all the emblems of Chicago, and they had really nice scotch glasses with the Chicago flag etched into it. So we're gonna come back and get two of those as well. Yeah, so we'll be back. We're home and James had to go straight to the bottle. A giant bottle of water. This uh, Toy Story Marathon that they had today, that you guys had today, has, has taken the whole day. Of course, the second I put the camera on him, he stops playing with it. But he was just like very intently playing with this. Oh, here we go. 
He does it really slow, and then he does it really fast. Then he does it very compassionately, and then he goes crazy. What do you so got? Fun. I wish I was nice. in person. Nice. That's the question your brother. Like that, so Look at Jamie. Like, I don't know how he looks like our dancing. And like... Today's a big day for mom. I finally clipped Teddy's nails. Why is it so stressful? That was like the one thing in parenthood that I didn't realize would cause me so much stress and how often you have to do it. <laughs> that goofy smile. Oh gosh. Bath night for both boys tonight. I actually wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a Q&A Ooh! on our baby Brookhart Project Instagram page. Somebody had asked about bath times. We typically do bath times like every other night. Sometimes every night if we are messy. But usually every other night. Sometimes every third night. All right, on Netflix, season two of History 101 came out, and there's an episode about IVF. So we're watching it now, and we will let you know what we think of it. IVF episode, if you're looking for a nice, like, 18-minute history and explanation of what IVF sesh. is, love it. Watch mm -hmm. it. Family friendly. And you can see all of about. our vlogs when we go through it. We explain a lot. Yeah. I think it's a good, like... It went into it enough without getting confusing, and it made me very grateful for our study we were a part of. It's kind of slow, It's very expensive. Yeah. So we're going to bed. It's like 10.30. Yeah. Look at us coming up tonight. Tomorrow's Friday. I have a <laughs> feeling it's going to be a great Friday. We're going to a different ballpark in the city. It is in this. I know, but it's not a guaranteed rate right field. It's good it's to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.